I told myself that I would never make this post. I told myself that I wouldn't be political. I wouldn't get into things. I wouldn't ruffle anybody's feathers. I wouldn't disrupt what's going on. But man, enough is enough. I mean, it just comes to a point where you just can't take it anymore. I never wanted to be perceived as the angry black man or the guy that blames society for everything or anything like that. But there becomes a point where enough is enough. How many black people need to be shot by the police before it's a problem? How many does it take? Um, I've sat back and with my wife watched on Facebook people and Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff people argue back and forth about different reasons why this is happening but how many people dying does it take for it to be a problem um, I, I thought some thoughts to myself and I'm just gonna share it with you guys if you agree with it please comment if you don't agree with it please comment because I really want to know what other people are feeling because I don't understand you know I don't live in other people's shoes I live in the shoes of a 29 year old black man living in America and that's kind of what I can see I can empathize empathize with other views but that's kind of just what I see throughout my world <clears throat> okay this is what I have to say fact number one black people african-american people Negro people are getting shot by the police and dying. Black African American men are being shot by the police and are being killed by the hands of the police. That's a fact. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that with me. Now, bear with me. This is going to get rocky for a second. The biggest issue in this whole thing is not the police officer. Well, that is a large, very large issue. Police officers shooting people, they shouldn't be racist, they shouldn't be pointing people out, they shouldn't be killing some people but letting other people live. That's an issue, yes. But the biggest issue is people thinking it's okay. People saying, oh, he shouldn't have been reaching. Oh, he shouldn't have put his hands up. Oh, he shouldn't have put his hands down. Oh, he shouldn't have been crawling on the ground. Oh, we shouldn't have been there that time of night. Oh, his car shouldn't have broke down. Oh, we shouldn't have been driving by a black man. There's so many excuses. I can't take it anymore. A terrorist literally tried to kill people with a pipe bomb. And the police were able to bring this guy safely to a hospital. I believe they shot him and injured him. But they were able to bring him safely. So you're trying to tell me a terrorist has more respect from the police than your average black man walking down the street. I, 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 I don't understand anymore. So what I'm trying to say is, it's not the police, it's, it's us. It's us thinking it's not a problem. It's us thinking that the black man did something outside of the video to provoke the police officer. Man, what if he did? You know what? What if he did? The police are supposed to be trained in a way to not shoot to kill. This is like, this is a war. This is a war zone. This is shoot first, ask questions later. It, it blows my mind, man. My second issue, and this is the issue that actually prompted me to make this video, is when people say, you know what? Look at the number of black people killing black people. That number far succeeds the number of police killing black people you know look at that I said something that actually blows my mind you know what as, as an african-american male again I know we have issues in the black community I know it I've seen it I've lived in the black community community my whole entire life I know there's issues but how does that make it okay for police to shoot black people and to kill them because we might have an issue with ourselves. The facts are out there. The facts are out there that you are most likely to be killed or harmed by people of your own race. Meaning, white people kill white people. Black people kill black people. Asian people kill Asian people. That's kind of the world we live in right now. But that doesn't make an excuse for, for police officers to shoot and kill black people. My third point, my third comment, Black Lives Matter. 
I'm a complete 100% believer in Black Lives Matter. Now this has been said multiple times, I'm just gonna say it again. Just by me saying Black Lives Matter does not mean I'm anti-police or anti-other people. It's just right now, in the history of our country, right now, right this second, there is a systemic problem with police killing black people. So right now, I'm going to say Black Lives Matter because that's the problem that we're facing right now. I don't hate police. I don't hate white people. I don't hate Asian people. None of that. None of that corresponds. It's just if you're not a black male, there may be some things you can't understand. You maybe don't understand riding your motorcycle in Los Angeles feeling that there's already three strikes against you. Number one, you ride a motorcycle. Number two, you're black. Number two, you're a male. Anything I do could be perceived as a threat. My brother, he lives in Baltimore, Maryland with his wonderful wife. During the riots when they broke out and everything, he was standing on the corner to protect local businesses. What if he was perceived as a threat? I don't know what I would do. My dad, I respect him more than anyone. Black male. What if he's driving to work? What if he's a threat? These are some of the most respected people in my life and they could be taken away from me just because they're black. So don't tell me there's not a problem. Man, I, I can't do this anymore. So how do we solve this? I never like when people complain about things or bring up issues that are um, coming up in our country, in our world, and they don't have some type of options on what we can do to fix this. So I'm going to give a few. The first thing is, number one, is knowing that there's a problem. Um, they say that's the first step to recovery in any situation, knowing that there's actually a problem. Do your homework, do your facts, do your research, and find out, and you will find out there is a problem. That's step one. Step two. We need to love and respect each other. And I really think that's the, the biggest step in all of this. Um, once you genuinely love and respect not only your family, but your neighbors, but strangers, um, all this, these issues become less of a problem. Um, when you love and respect someone, you don't get on Facebook and say things that some people say. Like, black people kill more black people, or all white people are bad or all police are bad it's just all about love and respect um, if you follow the word if you're a Christian we were sent to love everyone everyone that means police that means gay people that means lesbian that means transgender that means white people that means black people that means everybody we were meant to love everyone. That's that's really the key here. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you for listening. Um, I really never get emotional, and it's going to be really hard for me to share this, but thank you for listening. If you have a comment, negative or positive, or positive, or ugh. if you have a comment, negative or positive, I want you, I need you to post it. Because I want to know how you're thinking. I want to know what you're thinking. I want to start a conversation on how we can move to a, a better place than uh, where our country is at currently right now. Thank you. I'm out.